Hello, my name is Colin Martin. I'm the author of the novel Secondhand God. Uh, this book came to me, the idea came to me in a dream back in April of 2010. It took me six months to finally start the book. I started it in late October of 2010. And the dream that I had was a woman who um, had an accident. It was In the dream it was a car accident and she had woken up from a coma to find out that she had these strange psychic powers uh, manifesting things from the palms of her hands, mind reading people and projecting what they were thinking onto these blank pieces of paper, uh, producing playing cards with animated people on them that could talk and interact with humans. Uh, anyway, this went on and she became a guest on daytime TV and in my dream I remember actually seeing Oprah, but she became a fixture on daytime TV and started to do these tricks. Well, after a while, people really started to get to know her and they were lining up with their sick and handicapped children at the back entrances of these TV studios, believing that she could heal their children, which she actually learns to do. As time goes on, her powers start to grow to the point where people start to fear her and the church and the military and the government all get involved to try to shut her powers down because they're in fear that she may be able to take over the world, which she does. As her power has grown, she's able to uh, move planets and mountains and all these things with the power of God. People are very divided and they, di they divide among themselves. The populace, half of it wants her destroyed and the other half begins to worship, basically out of fear. Uh, nobody wants to be killed either way, so they try to find a way to put uh, Reagan Roberts out of existence. Of course, that's nearly impossible since the woman can stop time, or read the minds of anyone that is trying to destroy her, and basically wipe out entire cities, cultures, armies, and pretty much the entire universe with just a single thought, single thought in her mind. As the book has evolved, it really went from being a science fiction kind of uh, thriller to, in my mind, sort of an essay on what would a normal person do with the powers of God. Now, a lot of us think very highly of ourselves that if we all of a sudden woke up and we had miraculous powers, that we would do all this good, uh, we would stop wars and create peace and end uh, suffering and, uh, and all these great things for humanity, but our ego is a very powerful thing and it never gets the chance to express itself to its fullest degree of power. Uh, usually our egos are kept in check uh, by other people and society and things that keep us in check and our activities, but if our ego or our power was allowed to run rampant, how would the things that we've grown up, the biases that we have, the uh, baggage that we carry around, how would those affect our decisions? Uh, would some of us uh, use it to destroy everything we've ever known, just because we can? Well, I believe that some of us would, and uh, this particular character, Reagan Roberts, is um, one of those kinds of people. But of course she learns at the end that uh, having the power of God is not easy, and the power that God possesses, the strength of that is not in the miracles, but actually in the love that God has. The ability to love something so incredibly small and insignificant as us and the power of love that we humans have and the realization of that we are able to uh, become gods ourselves and uh, create powers we have the ability to be anything that we want to be as long as we keep our egos in check and we really understand what the true nature of our reality is so October 2011 secondhand god available everywhere I invite you to check it out.